I want to talk just a little bit about uh, 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 about the history of sort of why we're here. Uh, back in 1992, uh, we created the Cartoon Bank. This is the Cartoon Bank from 1992. This is before the internet. There was 20,000 cartoons that the New Yorker rejected. <laughs> okay, and okay, so these weren't the ones that, so maybe the New Yorker is the cream of the crop, but this was the damn fine crop. And we could figure we could make money with this. And we did make money with this, and we sold that business to the New Yorker. And the New Yorker said, hey, bring in the New Yorker cartoons because it will be more successful. And it was more successful until it wasn't. <laughs> and isn't. And that's the reason, really, for cartoon collection. And cartoon collections is dedicated. It's going to be a business, it's going to make money, but it's dedicated to cartoons. Everybody in cartoon collections, from me to Trevor Hoey, who was at the Cartoon Bank, to Jessica Ziegler, who's done web design, there's Jack Ziegler's daughter, to Ed Beardswell and Joel Michon from Cartoon Stock, who are over here, who founded their business about when I did. Everybody loves cartoons. They care about cartoons, and they care about cartoons. So one of the main purposes of all this is to support the art of cartooning. Uh, and that's really, really what we're going to do. And uh, I just want to sort of close in saying that I have enormous gratitude for all the cartoonists, the 92 cartoonists who have joined us in this. And we're going to repay that gratitude with hard work, diligence, respect for you and your work, and most of all, money. <laughs> <laughs> all right.